my channel, I'm Rodney Ross. So you wanna know how to lay out metal staircase for your mobile welding business, welding business, if you're kinda of new to it. Uh, today's video, I'll be going over the basics of staircase layout as I lay out this staircase that I built. Um, and towards the end of the video, I will be going over an app that I use on my iPad and I lay out some basics on how I use the app to find how many steps, make sure everything works with my measurements. Uh, so if that is a value to you, I hope you get something out of this. And so with that being said, on this channel, I will be giving tips and tricks to mobile welders. Uh, if you're looking to get into the mobile welding, let's say you got a rig truck already and you want to start your own mobile welding business, there's some do's and don'ts that I wish I would have known whenever I started. So hopefully I can give out some of these things so you can think about before starting. Uh, so hope that helps. You can find me on Instagram at Midstate Welding and on Facebook. You can also find me on TikTok with all my other content that I put out there on the regular. So if this is the type of video that you'd like to see, click subscribe. Ring the bell to get notified for more videos like this. And thank you for tuning in. So what I wanted to do in this little section here is go over the basics of how I come up with finding your measurements for your staircase. So it doesn't matter whether you're steel or wood or anything of that. Uh, it all boils down to knowing the basic terminology. So we'll start with the first thing is the distance from here to here is your rise. Total rise. Is your total rise from here to the very top. So with that being said, we're gonna call this six feet. So, and this is for a perfect world. Okay, so we have six feet tall from the top of the deck to the bottom down here. And in the perfect world, from this point, let me raise that up, there we go. All the way over here, should be level. But more than likely, it probably won't be. But just so you have the simplicity of the situation, now this distance here, is called your total run. And for simplicity, we're gonna say, uh, just coming up with a number, let's say it is five feet because that's what the customer has to deal with. You just have to go five feet. So what I do with this information here is I will take six feet and what you can do, you can take that and it's kind of a trial and error deal to see an even like, I know there's more mathematical ways, but I'm trying to show you just how you can break it down and figure out your stair situation. So I have this app right here. It's called the Home Reference App has about every little construction app in here. And it has a foot and inch calculator. And so this is what I like to use. And so like for, for this, there was no prep work 
in this necessary besides the little drawing. So we're gonna say six feet, okay, is for the total rise. This is before I go punch it into an actual stair calculator because this is the basics, what you need to know just to figure it out. So then we'll go, all right, we're gonna divide by, uh, let's just say seven inches a step and see what it comes up with. So there's seven inches and it comes up to, there would be 10.28 steps. So that means you need one hair over, so it'll be just a little more. So what I do with that is I take six feet and divide by 11 steps. So obviously more steps, a little bit more gradual. So that's six inches and nine sixteenths. So what that means is if you look over here, this will be six inches, nine sixteenths per step. So now we have five foot and we need to find this distance here. So what I'll do, I'll take five foot, divide by our tread distance. So your tread is your run, which is also your tread. And with that being said, generally your minimum by code is 10 inches is the bare minimum. But generally it's always nice to do 11 or 12, depending on your distance here, what you can get away with. So in a situation like this, it's five feet. Guess what? If you did, so how many inches are in a foot? 12. So you take 12, how many, feet are in five feet so it's five treads with that so that's if you go with 12 but what if you go with 11 what are you going to do so a lot of times what i will do depending on the situation if it's easier to meet that five foot distance where you want your staircase to end i will make them make make my treads 12 inches but if it's a spot where I can make it, however, if if the distance and the height work out to where it's better to have 10 inch treads, then that's what I'll do. But you have to play with the numbers. You have to kind of see what is the best situation. So for this example, just to show you, I mean, I would hope everyone would be able to figure out 12 inches and five feet. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But we'll take five feet, we'll divide by 12, oh, 12, dang it, seriously. 12 inches equals five. So that's the most simple way to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say 12 inch treads. So that means we will have five steps. And also what that means, there'll be five steps but there's gonna be six rises. There's always one rise more than actual treads. And so if you have watched this much of the video, high five. So it's kinda, of, it's basics. Um, that's how you find just general. And I'm sure there's more technical, a lot easier. There's a lot of terminology, you know, and then there's things you gotta think about, like if you're gonna have your tread overlap, your rise. So then there's things you gotta, you know, you still get the same distance, same all that. It's all in the layout at that point. But for simplicity, there will be five steps. If I can draw it out, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Not <laughs> to scale, but you get the point. So this one here is your sixth rise that goes up onto it. But when you're laying out on a metal channel, guess what do you do? I always make this right here the top of my point. 
of the channel. So instead of cutting it off to where it looks like a, that little chunk's taken out, I just leave it right there and then you just, then you end it down there. So I hope this made sense. Thanks for watching this long. I, uh, I apologize that it might've been a little lengthy, but hopefully you got the basics and the, just the bare necessity out of this. Cause once you know this stuff, you can go to that, you can download the calculator app and there are some simple ones where you can type in your rise, your run, and it'll spit out how many steps that you have or could have. And then it'll tell you your angle because this thing may be a real steep angle and your customer wants it a little steeper and be like, well, if there's a way that we can kick this staircase out a little further, it'll make your angle less than and your stairs will be a lot more comfortable to walk up. So if you made it this far, I'm gonna show you what I use for tool-wise. So I use these Omni Square gauges. They're designed to be offset so that when you mark your square, you're actually right on. But for the stair layout, I use these. And what I do is they are meant to be like presets or uh, like a set screw almost, but like what I'm gonna do for my rise, for my tread, or not, yeah. I'm gonna put it on seven inches, clamp her down, and then this one is set on 12 inches. So all you have to do is butt it up to the edge of the channel, make your mark, then move down. And the nice thing is about these versus the buttons, because Empire has a set of buttons. They're okay. But I like these because there is a straight edge to where you can make a mark here on the blue side and then on your frame side. So whenever you move down, guess what? This here can land right on that mark and then you know you're accurate. So let's get it. So one thing I like to do, because sometimes with these stairs, it can get real confusing. Uh, a lot of times what I like to do is start at the very top set it <clears throat> and then work your way all the way down so we got 11 inches and then we come down five and a sixteenth so there's our first step then when you bring it down, you just line it right up with the next one. tip for when you're laying out your stairs make sure that when you take your square and after it's all set up and all that you're laying out like we're laying out like this for this side well in order to do the other side you need to be 
line it on the opposite so that when your channels are set up, your channels are facing outside and you're not cutting two identical ones. Sounds like a simple thing, but trust me. Just trust me on that one. Okay. Your step is your run this distance here. And then your rise of your step is this distance here. And the line resembles the top of your tread. And this is just the distance. So what I've done over here is the first one I laid out. And then I mirrored it over here. I cut this channel out, but what I did to make sure my channels were exactly the same, I put them together, clamped them down, and then I sanded the ends to where they're flush. That way your points are all the same and there's no question about it. Another little tip is you can make yourself a little gadget or a jig system. Like I've set this because my bar green is an inch and a quarter, so I got this space out an inch and a quarter so that this line is the top of your tread. So in order to figure out where to put your angle iron, you line that baby up there. You got it set up to where the corner matches there. And we'll slide that all the way. And tack her down. And she's good to go. What I like to do on here, what I like to do, <clears throat> what's nice about this app is that you can go in here and you can click and drag. And so I'm gonna copy this. And so basically what I do, I come down until I hit the bottom there. And I just keep doing that until we line up at the bottom. And then that's how we do it. All right, I just wanna to touch base on that program. It is ArcSight. It is to where you can draw out to two scale and you can write out your total run, your total rise, you can draw out your treads, you can lay it all out, like as you've seen I do, as I did. And so I hope in this video that you got a better understanding of stairs and just the basics of how to, if you're just trying to figure it out, um, I hope this helps. I hope I can make some more content towards stairs and a better understanding because there's, especially for channel iron, for those of you in the mobile welding and the, you know, metal world. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys on the flip side.